Welcome to Literary and Jury Charge Practice. Let's go ahead and get started with some jury charge. And this particular jury charge has to do with certain rights and let's see, Miranda decision, the Constitution of the United States, self-incrimination, all right, here we go, ready? The rights that are granted to everyone are the right to an attorney, the right to a speedy and public jury trial, the right to confront witnesses, the right to remain silent, and the right to produce evidence Two of these rights have been identified as being so important that a court decision set forth that they must be disclosed to the individual who is being taken in for questions and possible arrest. These two rights are the right against self-incrimination and the right to an attorney. If the rights are not read properly to the suspect, then the case may get thrown out of court. Police officers take care in reading these rights to suspects to keep it from being thrown out of court. The Miranda decision set forth that all individuals must be told that these two rights are to help them get a fair trial. All people must be informed of their rights accordingly. The decision was important because it ensured that people would get the protection that was given to them under the Constitution of the United States. When the Miranda decision was handed down, it was designed to help even those people who were not aware of the rights granted them under the Constitution.
All right, some literary material from the Who Moved My Cheese book. Ready? Ha picked up a small, sharp rock and wrote a serious thought on the wall for him to think about. As was his custom, Ha even drew a picture of cheese around it hoping it would help him to smile, lighten up, and go after the new cheese. But him didn't want to see it. It read, if you do not change, you can become extinct. Then Ha stuck his head out and looked anxiously into the maze. He thought about how he'd gotten himself into this cheeseless situation. He had believed that there may not be any cheese in the maze, or he may not find it. Such fearful beliefs were immobilizing and killing him. Ha smiled. He knew him was wondering who moved my cheese. But Ha was wondering why didn't I get up and move with the cheese sooner. As he started out into the maze, Ha looked back to where he had come from and felt its comfort. He could feel himself being drawn back into familiar territory even though he hadn't found cheese there for some time. He had immobilizing That's, that's quite a challenging word, immobilizing. I don't know, I'd probably write that in four strokes. That would probably be about what I would do. I'm sure there's probably a brief for it, possibly. I'm not really sure how often you'll hear it, but it is here in our, in our cheese book, immobilizing. It is, it is getting very exciting, I know. What will happen next? All right, well, for now, let's do some, some jury charge practice. And looks like this jury charge is about assault and battery. 
assault and battery, felon, felony, arraignment, Okay, let's, let's give this one a try. Here we go. When a person commits the crime of assault and battery, the person is charged with the crime. A person who has been charged with assault and battery is charged with committing the crime of placing someone in fear of harm and in actually touching the individual. There is a difference between the crime of assault and the crime of battery. The crime of assault may occur when someone does not actually harm the individual, placing anyone in the position of placing them in fear of being harmed is enough to be considered assault. The person who actually touches the other person when placing them in fear of being harmed is also guilty of the crime known as battery. Often a person is charged with two crimes at the same time. If a person is convicted of a crime that is considered a felony, the person is considered to be a felon. A person who has committed a felony will be sent to a state prison. A person who has been charged with the crime of assault and battery will be acquitted if the jury finds that the person is not guilty of the charge. When a person is charged with a crime, that person has the right to an arraignment. An arraignment is a hearing. At the arraignment, the person has the right to make a plea. At the time of the plea, the person may have bail set. If he can meet the financial amount of bail, he may be set free until the trial. He will pay 
the bail, which is the amount paid to promise that he will appear in court. The person who loans the money for bail and charges a percentage is called a bail bondsman. The charge of assault and battery results in the person having to have a criminal trial. literary practice. Ready? Ha became more anxious and wondered if he really wanted to go out into the maze. He wrote a saying on the wall ahead of him and stared at it for some time. What would you do if you weren't afraid? He thought about it. He knew Sometimes, some fear can be good. When you are afraid, things are going to get worse if you don't do something. It can prompt you into action. But... It is not good when you are so afraid that it keeps you from doing anything. He looked to his right to the part of the maze where he had never been and felt the fear. Then he took a deep breath, turned right into the maze, and jogged slowly into the unknown. Let's take a couple more minutes here with our with our jury charge that we just started regarding assault and battery. Ready? The Constitution provides that he must have a fair, speedy trial before a jury. When a suspect is arrested, the first sign that the suspect is to be treated fairly is that the police must tell the suspect what his or her rights are according to the Constitution. 
after his rights are read, the suspect is allowed to have an attorney represent him in court. The police are trained to inform the suspect that he has certain rights that are granted to him or her according to the Constitution of the United States. These constitutional rights are important to the individual as he proceeds to trial. The Constitution provides that there are a number of rights that the person has before, during, and after the trial. A person is not to be arrested without cause. There must be a reason for the arrest. After the person is arrested, the person has the right to remain silent and to be represented by an attorney. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, that will conclude our literary and jury charge practice. Thank you.